Gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs, who seems to rival Mr. Lynch for best library on this Zoom uh, in the background. Looks good, Mr. Biggs. You're, well, you're recognized for your five minutes of questioning. I thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And Commissioner, thanks for being here today. I, I consistently hear from my constituents about issues they're having with the IRS. In fact, um, the caseload on IRS issues has increased over the last few years tenfold in my office, tenfold. I'm told my, by my staff that due to the broad impact of COVID-19, the IRS has faced challenges in all return processing operations, and that number would be even higher if the IRS and the Taxpayer Advocate Service had not suspended or limited the acceptance of individual and business taxpayer cases. So I wanna share one example with you now uh, of a case that my, my office handled. I had a constituent who was simply attempting to request a repayment plan. It took her four years to get a resolution. Even though she's been cooperative with the IRS requests, she was locked out of the IRS portal, unable to verify her identity and unable to make electronic payments to her balance. Long story short, this constituent has been getting the runaround from the IRS. People do not return her calls. And when she calls, she gets a series of automated options that all eventually lead to her being disconnected. That's simply unacceptable. That's just one case of many that my office has worked on to resolve. So Commissioner Reddick, in 2020, the IRS closed most of its offices. Is that, is that correct? In March of 2020, we, as the rest of the country, private and public sector, we shut down the Internal Revenue Service, but we came back in June of 2020. Or have you reopened all of your offices? We we are we are fully reopened. The folks who are are all the offices um, the spaces reopened. that people are supposed are to all, be in. Sir, yes. are all the offices reopened fully? So let me let me rephrase it for you. I, I want to make this easier for you. Are all the IRS employees working in their office, or are they still rotating staggered schedules? The people who have non telework. Uh, eligibility, been in the offices since June of 2020. But like the private sector and like many other offices, we have we have a virtual operation and we have agents who are frontline who are out in the field doing conducting so, audit. So you are still rotating staggered schedules then, is that correct? We are, the staggered schedules, to the extent we have split shifts, that was socially distanced, but the same number of people would be there on the split shifts for each turn. So prior to the pandemic, how long did it take for a taxpayer to receive the refund if they filed a paper return or an amended return? I don't have those statistics. It's possible that the taxpayer um, advocate, Aaron Collins, has those statistics. It, you, know, you know how long it's a taking lot of this now? Very You're the commissioner. I would assume that you would know these things. Um, how long is it taking now? From prior to the pandemic, sir? Yeah, so I was asking, give us now, what, what, what was it taking? I mean, this was not a hard question. Prior to the pandemic, how long on average did it take for a taxpayer to receive the refund if they filed a paper return or an amended return? Aaron, I don't know if you have statistics. I would say that one, for accurately filed returns that don't have errors, don't have eligibility questions, it would be typically maybe a three to four month process. But the, most of the backlog that we have in processing is returns that have eligibility issues, reconciliation issues, um, legislative so there's issues. always so, so so here's the thing commissioner and here's the problem that my constituents have and i hear from my constituents consistently it is that um they're not getting the service that they need they don't they don't get these things quickly they if there is an issue they're not able to resolve that issue i just gave you the example of just one of many dozens and dozens dozens of cases that come through my office so what measures have you been have you implemented to ensure timely processing of these returns and the release of a taxpayer's refund? First, let me say that if you can get a list of those taxpayers, we will work with your people in your office. We'll arrange a call. We'll get, we'll get us the information in advance. We'll arrange a call. We'll advise you of the status of those. We're able to hit probably 80 or 90% of those when we work with Congress on individuals to explain when we sent a letter, what the issue is, where it's held up, we can also enlist the services of the taxpayer advocate to assist with that. We also have um, taxpayer assistance centers that are open 
Uh, the last Saturday for them will be May 9th, but those offices are open. They are staffed. We have 30. I appreciate, Commissioner, it's just a short time. I appreciate those offers. And we have tried to use the taxpayer advocate and we will continue to do that. And we will reach out to you. I'll be, I'll be trying to reach out to you. Thank you. I what will is get the current you, backlog? I will get you my cell phone number. And Thank so you. on any of those, you should contact me directly and we'll bring that back in. Current, what current, is the current backlog? The current gentleman, backlog excuse, me, excuse me, the gentleman's time has expired, but the commissioner may respond. Thank you. Current, the current backlog, we split it between returns received in calendar year 21 and returns received in calendar year 22. I'm talking about paper, paper returns. And so in the paper lanes, we have about 2.4 million, give or take from the received in calendar year 21. And we have about 2.6 ish million. Remember it changes every week because we're still in filing season. The filing deadline was April 18, but there's a bubble that will continue to come through for at least the next 30 days. In the aggregate, it's right around 5 million paper returns. And we have gone to an all hands on deck uh, area there. We brought in, I think you've heard about surge teams, which are experienced people coming back in to process those returns. We're hiring contractors. We're doing literally everything we can in, in the interest of time. And I, I appreciate that. But if you either contact me directly and I'll, I'll go through more detail or a question for the record, we'll get you more detail and would certainly appreciate the opportunity to meet with you and any others one-on-one um, -on -one at your convenience. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Chairman.